Hi Lisa, it's Michael. I just finished viewing your blog and I wanted to say a good job on that. And um, I wanted to agree that the counselors did use great eye contact. Uh, both of the counselors did. Uh, I feel that when we being empathetic, we need to make sure that we sharpen our nonverbal skills. And when I say sharpen the nonverbal skills, I'm saying that if we're being empathetic, our, our body language, our body posture should mimic or should fall in line with our verbal communication. So I should not be sitting back with my, my arms folded and using hard eyes in a counseling session, but I should be, you know, relaxed and maybe leaning forward and, and using soft eyes with, with the client. So I agree again, I agree with you when you said that the counselors did a wonderful job with doing that. Uh, they also did a very good job in paraphrasing. They captured uh, exactly what their clients were relaying to them. Uh, they really communicated to the clients that uh, the counselors were on target. They were sharing the same viewpoint as the client. I feel that the clients also were non-directive and were non-judgmental. And they allowed the client to really take off when they gave them the open, uh, the question, the open um, statement of where do you want to start? Where do you want to begin? And um, the clients really took off and started to disclose their issues to the counselors. And this pays great dividends for the counselor because they're able to gather much intel, much data to put together a great assessment for their clients. So I um, really uh, took that away from the videos and we'll put that in my tool bag, so to speak, to use when I get out into the field of counseling. Another thing that I will use is what they call the attentive of silence, you know, just intentionally being silent to allow for the, uh, the clients to continue to talk. And as I read that in the text, uh, it taught me that, you know, sometimes just being silent kind of forces people to continue to carry on with the conversation because they don't want the conversation to lag. So I learned a lot in this lesson and, uh, and I'm very thankful for it. So again, thank you for your blog. God bless and have a great day.